My name's Catherine Coleman and welcome to our beautiful new stables here at Moody Racing. These stables are virtually brand new. Um, we've been in them for about three to four months now. They were designed by Peter Moody and his wife, Sarah Moody. We're incredibly lucky to be operating out of such nice facilities here. Let's have a look through them. So starting off here, we've got box one. Uh, we've got 45 horses that live here uh, in this main stable all the time. 40 of them live in boxes like this. Um, they're lovely, lovely big boxes here. There's plenty of room for the horses um, to enjoy themselves and stretch out. We've got some lovely big sand rolls. The horses come in to have a roll after they've worked each morning. Coming through here, this is sort of the, the centre of operations in the morning. We've got our whiteboard where all the work goes up each morning, um, the rider list and the track work goes up there so that everyone can see what they're doing. In here, we've got our tack room. Um, so all the gear, spare gear, head collars, leads, bridles, saddles, rugs um, all in here. It's nice and neat and well organised, which Pete absolutely loves. If it gets messy, then he also gets messy. <laughs> Through this middle section here, um, we have a mix of geldings and uh, fillies and mares. They have the rubber at the front and the shavings at the back makes them a lot easier to keep clean and, and refresh the shavings um, as the horses need it. Walking out the back here, um, we've got the back pathway out this way to head out to the track um, and the swimming pool and also the 10 horse walker here, which is a, a big asset to us. The horses all come on here for a walk uh, before and after they work in the mornings and also uh, in the afternoons, they come out for a walk and a swim and, and come on here to stretch their legs. Coming around here, we have the sand yards, something that the horses really enjoy coming out and spending a little bit of time in. These yards uh, along this section are empty most of the time and the horses sort of rotate through them. Nothing lives out here permanently. Um, the horses just come out to spend a day out here once a week and they really enjoy it. it just allows them to be able to interact with each other um, you know, they're, they're herd animals, they're used to being together all the time and this way they can really um, get nice, close and personal, groom each other um, if they're friendly uh, and just, you know, sort of be a, be a bit more of a normal horse. And coming up here, we have our five mares that live out in the yards all the time. Um, we like to refer to this as Turak Road because it's the prime real estate, probably got a little bit more room than the boxes and they just really seem to, uh, to appreciate that. We've got the treadmill here as well, which is a, a, a big part of our training and a, a big asset as well. We work sort of between five and 10 horses on it a morning. It is a, a very big asset to us. In here, we've got one of our wash bays. We've got three of these around the stable, um, which just allows the horses, once they've come back from the track, they've gone in and had a roll, they come into the wash bay um, where they get a, a good wash all over just to get the sand, sweat, um, dirt, anything else that they've got on them uh, off them. Uh, so then they can go on the walker nice and clean and dry off and go back to their boxes and get tucked up in their rugs for the day. In here, we have possibly uh, Pete's pride and joy of the whole stable complex, which is his laundry. This is um, a very special area indeed. We've got the industrial size washing machine and dryer. And whilst it might sound silly, they are so helpful to us because we spend a lot of time um, washing towels, drying towels, changing the washing machines over. So having these industrial size ones, honestly, is a lifesaver. In here we've got our little storage room, um, we've got all the equipment for cleaning boxes and sweeping up as well as the dressing kits here for the horses, the grooming kits when they come in um, back to their boxes after they've worked in the morning. They all get groomed um, and, and then their rugs are changed and put away for the day. In here we've got our race day room um, which is where all the gear lives for the horses that they use when they head to the races. So we've got uh, the tie-ups, head collars, rearing bits, bridles, leads, um, earmuffs up there, 
uh, and then all our race day towels and race bridles and everything else that we might need for a day at the races. Coming into spring is always a really exciting time of year. Um, you've got your, your best horses back in work and in the stable. We've just sort of emerged from a long cold winter and you know we're coming back to a, a bit of nicer weather and some nice you know group one racing and it just always puts a, a bit of a spring in everyone's step and, and makes it that little bit easier getting out of bed in the morning when you know that you're coming in and you know you've got these horses that you're excited about and you can't wait to get them to the races. Hope you've enjoyed the behind the scenes look here at Moody Racing and looking forward to seeing you at the races over the next few months. Pretty good line two on Gala broke away Foxy Clean.